Hello. Uh, I'm just heat on him. Um, okay, so this is a. Wow, that's not correct. Spelled right. <laughs> Caps lock is. Anyway, explaining hot. What? I don't even. Okay, so explaining how to make a 32 by 32 graphics routine. Uh, depending on where you see this, I'm either uh, Banana XX Boatman or. Actually, it doesn't even matter. Anyway, so graphics routine. Start. You JSR to get draw info, which this actually puts some. It does, I don't know how to explain it easily, but it basically just gets the position on screen. So, this little routine explains, or I'm going to explain how to get the tile depending on the frame. So, 14 is the frame counter, and you load it. You divide it by 3, which will just shift it. And then you say, then you A and D by 3. 3 in hex is equal to uh, 8 bits or two, one, 2 digits in hex is 8 bits in in uh, how do you say binary so 3 would be this basically it's saying that the 14 can only be uh, 0 through 3 it's just it figures out what frame you're on so you take that into X and you load add to tiles and you store that to 3 uh, here is add to tiles so depending on which 3 of the frames it was it will add 0 4 or 8 or another 4 later but we'll get to that later. So for now, we just store the result of what to add to 3. Next, we get the YXPPCCCT properties for each frame. This is store to 0, so we're storing 0 to 2. This will clear it out. Next, we're going to take the sprite's position, or not position, just basically the way it's facing and we're going to store that to 2 just in case now we're going to push X because the sprite is in X right here so we need a new X and we're going to take the the sprites which way it's facing into X we load which properties depending so pretty much it can only go left or right and as you can see properties are right here so we have 3 and 43 which would be binary so Y stands for if you want a Y flip X stands for if you want an X flip PP is a uh, priority so it can be 0 0 which would be 0 a 0 1 is 1 1 0 is 2 and 1 1 is 3 but we don't want any the palette, this actually starts, 0, 0 would use palette 8, but we're going to be using palette 9. And the tile, or, what does it stand for? I don't know. Basically, it's just which page to use, which in Lunar Magic, this would be page 2. So, that would be 1 here. And this would be page 1, which would be 0 there. Well, we're going to be using the second page. Well, who's we? Ah, shouldn't have shown that. Ignore that for now. Uh, so, as you can see, this is uh, palette 9. This is the palette we're going to be using and the page we're going to be using with no priority. And if we're facing, I think, right, we're going to flip it the other way around. So, ignore that again. And we're going to store uh, the property into 4. Now here's the upload loop. 
We're gonna push X again because, well, we don't want to lose it. And we're gonna load 3 into X, so basically this is gonna go through this loop four times because it counts 0, 1, 2, 3. So, yeah, I'll explain that a little bit. Right now we load 2, which was right or left. So, if it was 0, you're facing to the right, or I guess it'd be that way, and left is that way. So if we're facing to the right, we don't need to add 4 to 0, or to x. So, we take 0, 0, or, yeah, from, uh, uh, what, what is it? This we got from the get draw info. Wow, I didn't even... So... And then we're going to add the x disposition and store that, store that to 0300y, which y was gotten from get draw info too. So, why did we add x? Why did we add 4 to x if we were facing to the left? That is because the position the x disposition would be right here. So uh, this frame would be zero on the x because it's where you started. We would move 10 pixels over to get to this frame to start. This frame is the next one, as you can see, and it didn't move any on the x. And the next frame, this one, moved another 10. However, if we don't flip it, this is what we'll end up with when we later flip the tiles. So it'll start here, but that's not right. So we add the new ones, so it says that this first tile is now 10 over and is switched to over here. And this one is 0, see? Yeah, so it, it actually, they switched places. And we did the same thing for this one to go over here and this one to come here. So you pretty much just have to add whatever this number was. And then we store it to here. We pull back X because we don't want to keep that additional 4. Next we take the same, we do the same thing pretty much, but we do it for Y, which Y is y would be for this would be huh y for this would be well this would be the actual tile because 10 is up so this tile would be 10 on y and so would this one because they're 16 pixels above these ones so these would be zero if you wanted to add like uh if you wanted to do them in this order, so it'd be, uh, what is it, 32 by 48, you would add uh, another one up here, which would be 20, but you'd also have to change other stuff. Oh, oops, I, well, I guess we're done with that. So, that's to get the, the Y disposition into uh, 0, 301, 301 Y. Now we're going to get the frames to add. So we take X and add 3, the value of 3. And we take that to X and get the tile. So 3 was depending on, or dependent on the frame counter. So if we're adding 0, we're going to take X is 3 because we started the loop right here, 3, so x is 3. So that means this is 0, 1, 2, 3, or the first tile to draw, which was EC, which is found right here, as you can see. Uh, actually, nope, nope, nope. This tile, 
right here. And then it'll get these four other ones, or three other ones. So what if we added four? Then it would add that to X and it would start here. And we would be using these tiles to display, which is starting at AC, which is right here, and then AA. So basically, these are the frames and how much to add them. So right here, where we would be using these tiles if we were adding 8, because here's 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, well, yeah, so this is 3 in hex, and this is 7, so this is 8, starting right here. But then we also add the new x, or the old x, rather, and it would be starting at 22, which is right here. So, now we take the properties in the 4, and we or with the accumulator 64. I don't really know what that's for, but just do it. Then, increase y for the next tile. Decrement x by 1. And if x is less than 0, it'll loop. Oops, actually this should be plx right here. Then you just write, this should always pretty much be 2 if you're using a 16 by 16 tile. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's just 0 if you want to do 8 by 8. This is how many tiles we want to draw, which is 3. We got that from up here, as you can see. And then... JSL to this, and then you're done. Have a nice day. And stop.